breaking. Cops just raided home of sick U.S. Olympic coach 24HRS before opening ceremony. As horrific as this story is, it's even more horrible when you realize that this was done under the noses of dozens. The United States is still reeling from the realization that Larry Nasser, a supposed doctor, has been abusing our U.S. Olympic gymnast, and now the truth about another coach comes out. As it turns out, letting teenage girls spend unlimited amounts of unsupervised time with middle-aged men who have good excuses to touch them without anyone questioning it, might not be a great idea. This time, the allegations come not from the gymnastics department, but the swim teams. One former gold medalist is finally telling the story of her life training for the premier athletic competition in the world, and it's a scary one. The swimmer tells a story of years of grooming, abuse and even pornographic pictures being taken of her in her late teens. As horrific as this story is, it's even more horrible when you realize that this was done under the noses of dozens of other adults, and the man was paid well for his time spent preying on her, and probably others. The Daily Mail reports that Ariana Kukers is accusing Olympic team coach, Sean Hutchinson. A former world record-holding Olympic swimmer has claimed a Team USA coach sexually abused her and took naked photos over her when she was 17. Investigators have searched the Seattle home of a former U.S. Olympic team swimming coach Sean Hutchison amid the claims made by athlete Ariana Kukers. Homeland Security Task Force investigators along with police in Washington state served a search warrant at 46-year-old S. Apartment Tuesday recovering electronic devices they say may contain evidence. It is alleged he abused his powers as Cooker's coach, grooming her and then sexually abusing her as a teenager. Homeland Security launched an investigation on January 30 following a report from Cooker's, according to the court documents, the Seattle PI reported. Cooker's, now 28, said in a statement Wednesday that she went to police to report that Hutchison sexually assaulted her on trips and while training at Seattle area pools. She told investigators that Hutchison used his position as her longtime coach to groom her for sexual abuse. Cooker said the grooming started at age 13 when he became her coach at King Aquatics, a Seattle area swim club. She claims Hutchison started sexually abusing her when she was 16. In situations like this, People often get frustrated that the person being abused didn't speak up sooner. However, the first thing to remember is the fact that you just don't understand what threats might have been made. If your parents have spent years and tens of thousands of dollars making sure you have a chance as a professional athlete and your 15-year-old self knows that, you don't want to disappoint them. Plus, there's often threats of real-life violence in situations like this. I never thought I would share my story because, in so many ways, just surviving was enough," Cooker said. But in time, I've realized that stories like my own are too important to go unwritten. Not for the sake of you knowing my story, but for the little girls and boys whose lives and future hangs in the grasp of a horribly powerful and manipulative person. That they may not have to go through the same pain, trauma, horror, and abuse. That their parents, mentors, and guardians are better able to spot the signs of grooming and realize its tragic consequences before it's too late. Hutchison, who was an assistant coach on the 2008 U.S. Olympic team, didn't immediately respond to an email seeking comment Wednesday. In a search warrant affidavit, a Homeland Security Investigations special agent said investigators responded to claims that Hutchison took sexually explicit photos of Cookers more than a decade ago. Hutchison was a U.S. Olympic swimming coach in California at the time, a position from which he resigned in 2010 amid speculation that he was sexually involved with a swimmer. Hutchison denied it at the time, saying there is no truth to that, and insisting his departure was a long-planned move to form his own pro team. Hutchison is currently listed as the CEO of King Aquatics. In many ways, it's incredibly brave for her to be speaking up only for the sake of others. Some people are furious and insist on justice when they're wronged, and some people just want to move on. If you're in the last category, it's extremely painful to have your personal abuses dragged out on the world stage and inspected for inconsistencies. Cookers is no longer in danger from this horrible predator, but she's standing up for those who might still come in contact with his perversion and be his next victim. 
that is what bravery looks like. Let's make sure it doesn't go to waste.